please hit that subscribe button. Hey, everybody. Better suited to win the Stanley Cup this season. If you are new to the channel, the Washington Capitals, the Boston Bruins. Locked out and he scores. And we're live. Hey, everybody. So last week, I did a video about the 10 worst teams in the NHL since the 2005 lockout. And that was a pretty fun video. So I wanted to take a look at the other side of the equation today, kind of reverse things a bit, and look at the 10 best teams since the 2005 NHL lockout. Before I get into it, I just quickly ask that you please hit that subscribe button and give this video a like if you haven't already, as both of those things really help out the channel a lot and are greatly appreciated. Now, before we start, I do have to say that this is looking at regular season only. These are based on regular season standings and point totals. So, what the team did in the playoffs does not matter. It has no bearing on this list. So, doesn't you know, team might have been the best team in the regular season, got out in the first round of the playoffs. Doesn't matter. There's still this is based on regular season only. So, with that out of the way, let's get into it here. Taking a look, starting with number 10, the 2008-2009 San Jose Sharks. That Sharks team was very, very good, as many of the Sharks teams in the late 2000s and into the 2010s were. They went 53, 18, and 11 on the season, putting up 117 points and a goal differential of plus 53. That was obviously a great year for San Jose. Coming in at number 9, we have the 2010-2011 Vancouver Canucks. They won the President's Trophy that season going 54-19-9 and with 117 points and a plus 77 goal differential. That was a monster year for Vancouver, who again at that time was very good year in and year out. That was uh, their best team, however, and uh, they had a really, really strong season that year. At number 8, we have the 2013-14 Boston Bruins, another President's Trophy winning team who went 54-19-9 for 117 points, exactly the same as Vancouver back in 10-11. However, a plus 84 goal differential puts them one spot ahead with a, a really, really dominant year that year. Uh, that was a great Boston team with a lot of star players on it and a lot of... Uh, uh, just a, a lot of important veteran guys, not not as much youth. I think they, they went through a period right after this season where things started to go downhill, and um, you know they missed the playoffs for a couple years, but now obviously Boston's back being one of the top teams. But 2013-14 was a high, high-end year for the Boston Bruins, and uh, even though they didn't win the Cup that year, that was a dominant team. Number seven, we have the 2016-17 Washington Capitals. We're going to see the Washington Capitals on here multiple times in this video. With this uh, one coming in first at number seven is the 16-17 team that went 55-19-8 and eight for 118 points with a plus 81 goal differential. Washington was a powerhouse team through the late 2000s and in through the 2010s. They're still a powerhouse team now, obviously loaded with talent, and this was one of many great Capitals teams through the 2010s. Number six, we have the Washington Capitals again, this time the 2015-16 version from the year before the year before the team that we just talked about. This team went 56, 18, and 8 on the season, 120 points and a plus 59 goal differential. Obviously, uh, any team that gets 120 points in a season, that is an exceptionally good year, and this Washington Capitals team was no exception to that. Coming in at number five as we enter the top five now, who else but the Washington Capitals? This time it's the 2009-2010 Washington Capitals, and this might be the best Capitals team ever. They went 54, 15, and 13 on the season for 121 points and a plus 85 goal differential. That team was absolutely lethal back in 2009-2010. And um, the playoff success wasn't there yet for the Caps, but the regular season success certainly was as they put up a 121-point season. Number four, we have the 2012-2013 Pittsburgh Penguins. Now, this season was a little bit different because of it was uh, half. It was shortened because of a lockout. They ended up playing a 48-game season. 
Uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins in that year went 36-12-0 for 72 points and a plus 46 goal differential in those 48 games. Now, if you take the, the point percentage or the, the point pace of 72 in 48 and push that out over an 82-game season, Pittsburgh was on pace for a 123-point season, and that gets them to number four on this list. I'm basing it on the 123-point pace. Um, that Pittsburgh team was very, very good. They were not the best team in the league that year, as that team is coming up a little bit later, but that was an extremely, extremely good Pittsburgh Penguins team in 2013. Number three, as we come into the top three best teams since the lockout, now we have to go back to the year, the first year out of the lockout, 2005-2006. The Detroit Red Wings that year went 58, 16, and 8 for 124 points and a plus 96 goal differential. This Detroit, I mean, Detroit was a powerhouse team before the lockout, and they came out of the lockout still as a powerhouse team. Obviously, things are a little different now, but back in 2005, 2006, Detroit was the best team in the league, and um, they had an incredibly, incredibly good season. That brings us now to number two. And number two or last year's Tampa Bay Lightning, 2018-2019 Tampa Bay Lightning, who finished the season with a record of 62-16-4 for 128 points and a plus 103 goal differential. Absolutely unreal regular season for the Lightning last year. Now, we all know what happened in the playoffs, but playoffs have no bearing on this on this list. This is strictly regular season, and the Lightning had 128 points, which is absolutely insane. Better than a 100 goal differential, uh, plus goal differential, and a league record, tying a lead record in wins with 62 wins on the season. Absolutely unbelievable season last year from Tampa Bay, but they were not the best team since the lockout. The best team goes to the 2012-2013 Chicago Blackhawks, who in a 48-game shortened season went 36-7-5 for 77 points in 48 games and a plus-3 goal differential. If you stretch that point pace out over an 82 game season like I did with Pittsburgh that is 131 points on the season now we don't know for sure if Chicago would have kept that pace up over a full 82 game season we will never know because those games were never played uh, what we do know however is that they got 77 points in 48 games won 36 out of the 48 games played that season uh, incredible uh, only lost seven in regulation. Single-digit regulation losses for Chicago that year in a 131-point pace. That team did go on to win the Stanley Cup, and that team is, I think, the best NHL team we have seen since coming back from the 2005 lockout. And um, In fact, they're the only team on this list that actually went on to win the Stanley Cup. So that shows that regular season success does not always equate to postseason success. Usually the best teams in the regular season actually don't do well in, that, in the playoffs. But Chicago 2012-2013, they are my top pick for the best team since the 2005 NHL lockout. So with that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, uh, like, comment, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. Uh, if you want to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon and merchandise store are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.